Welcome back to the Spoonie Stitcher channel. I'm Shannon the Spoonie Stitcher. You're inside the stitchery and I'm so happy you're here today. Don't forget to say hello to the Spoonie Pickle. <laughs> okay, so today we are doing a kit review. I have done one and a half technically almost two patterns in this book. I will um, show you what I mean in a second. And today's book is the Nutcracker Crochet. So I have made Clara. I don't have her with me. She's in my Christmas box. I'm filming this in November. I don't have my Christmas box yet. It's at the storage unit. Um, but I do have my Christmas yarn up. What do you guys think? Isn't it a cute background along with my advent calendars? Yes. So we're getting ready for Christmas over here, but we're not there yet. So, um, but that doesn't mean we can't talk about Christmas, right? Who's ready? I mean, come on. I am wearing my Santa sweatshirt from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer because I love that movie. <laughs> and um, anyway, but I also really love The Nutcracker. It is my second favorite ballet. If you know my first favorite ballet, then we've known each other a long time because I hardly ever say it. But um, thank you so much for being here today. I am sure you're here because you want to know what is this kit like? Is it any good? Because let's face it, a lot of the kits out there are not. So here's my theory on what actually happens. Now, most of these kits are written by, the patterns are written by designers we know and love and are huge in the crochet community. So it can't possibly be them. And it's not. It is not their fault when a kit goes wrong because I truly believe they had testers, they made it work. I mean, because if you get books by these authors that are not kit books, for some reason, they're perfect. But when you get them in a kit, they're not. Well, I believe that the publishing company has their own editor who knows nothing about crochet. If you don't know anything about crochet and you're trying to edit a crochet pattern for a book, that can't possibly go well. So that is my theory as to why these kits actually don't work out is because somebody who is doing all the finishing touches is somebody who doesn't know anything about crochet. Now they have gotten a little better. I heard one of the most recent ones was very good. So. Now the first project is Clara and that's actually one of the reasons I decided to do this one with the kit materials is because one it told me that I could with the kit materials and two she was the first project so made kind of made sense. Um, although I have to tell you if you really want to test a crochet kit do you know the secret? The secret to truly testing out a crochet kit don't make the project they tell you you can make with the materials they gave you. Make a different project because sometimes the ones that are made with the materials that come in the kit are actually the ones that are tested the most, if they're tested at all. I have made Clara from this kit. I used their yarn, their hook. Don't recommend that. Don't ever use their hook. <sighs> yeah. Their materials that they wanted me to use to make her. So I don't have her with me because I explained I don't have my Christmas box, but I do have a picture. So that is my Clara. I think she turned out perfectly. She is about this big because the yarn is DK, which is a three weight. And um, the hook was a 3.25. Let me just check. Yes, the hook was a 3.25 millimeter hook or a D hook. Uh, had to use a small embroidery needle, some embroidery floss, five millimeter safety eyes. Uh, yarn colors were white, red, tan, and brown, a little bit of stuffing, and an optional yarn needle if you want to use that instead of the embroidery needle. Um, and she's about four and a half inches tall. I think mine was a hair smaller, but I'm also a tight crocheter, so who knows? She was really easy. I didn't have any problems with this pattern. I had only minor, minor issues, and that was tying the little bow in her hair. Ha! Ah, lots of trying to tie that tiny little floss 
around her little hair was yeah <laughs> that part was not fun but i love how it looks so i'm over it <laughs> so clara is an a plus nothing wrong with her pattern loved making her the only thing i hated was using their hook but hey i did it i can say i used their hook their yarn their materials and their pattern so there we go i also started the nutcracker now i started him in worsted weight yarn and i have to say he is a little on the large side because the size in here is a dk yarn it does recommend a smaller hook and dk yarn for this kit so it's up to you my guess is so that you can turn these into ornaments because the size that my clara turned out is very ornament sized so um that would be my guess as to why you make them this small because most of the kits uh that come from this company most most of these kits are actually made with worsted weight yarn it's just thin worsted weight yarn but that's what comes in the kits and um they're about you know doll size but these are are much smaller and so my guess is these are supposed to be ornaments but it never says that so it's up to you he's in here <laughs> I love these bags, by the way. They are wonderful for whips. So, I made him in a worsted weight yarn and I used, hold on, I wrote it down, what size hook I used. So he is going to be made with a four millimeter hook, worsted weight yarn, which is a four weight, and probably eight millimeter safety eyes. However, I think I decided that I'm going to embroider his eyes. Um, yeah, yeah, I copied the pages out of the book. I couldn't keep the book open for all the changes I need to make. So um, I decided to just photocopy the pages and I could write all over them. As you can see, I wrote all over them. So, yeah, um, but I like his size. So she is about the size of his leg. <laughs> So, oh, okay, that's a place to keep your yarn needle. <laughs> so this is part of my Nutcracker. I also do have his hat, but I haven't done his hair yet, so I can't sew it on his head, but I do have his hat. It's not stuffed or anything, so it's not very strong, but. <laughs> so this is my Nutcracker. He's coming along. That's what I mean by I have like one and a half made is because you know <laughs> so he will be a lot bigger um but i'm okay with that because i i like him this size you know if a child is going to play with him this is a great size or if he's going to be on display on a shelf this is also a great size if you want an ornament size use the yarn size and the hook size that they recommend because Clara is the perfect little ornament size. So, um, but he is going to be a display piece for a friend of mine who loves nutcrackers. So, um, I'm, I'm excited about this. I really need to get back to it. So anyway, I'm not having any problems with these patterns. I'm not. So I would say this kit is a yes. I would say this kit is wonderful. And though I haven't seen hardly anyone make this kit, I would say it's great and I'm not having any issues with it and I'm making changes and it's not complicating me in the least. So I would just say if you make changes, write it down because <laughs> you won't remember that you did. So um, like, I, like I did, I was like, oh, what size hook did I use? Yeah, write it down. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you liked this little mini review of the Nutcracker kit. If you did, let me know. I have made other kits as well. So if you like this kind of content, let me know in the comments. Would you like more kit reviews? Would you like more um, in-depth look at the kits? I also have either have or already had videos coming out on looking at in-depth on the patterns in these books. So um, you can really see what it is you're getting if you buy the kit. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember, life happens 
A yarn helps, and Spoonies can stitch it up too. Bye!